Okay guys, so we're here today with... Uh, Astolo. Yeah, and he is our guest for today's episode of the Banner Lord podcast. And I got some questions for him. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Yeah. So, uh, if you have looked at the different characters in Banner Lord uh, developing blocks, um, you have probably seen like a different uh, types of characters. And I'm wondering which uh, type of char- ca- character... Um, you wish to play uh, and wish to like play as in Bannerlord or like general in Mountain Blade because the characters in, in my opinion looks like pretty much the same um, well like they're um, repeating the ways that they are um, configured um, So basically, what's uh, in which uh, what I what I usually what what I would do an overall battle uh, an overall mountain blade, like your character, like what type of character would you do? Do you look forward to the most, like the horse uh, archery type characters, or the like sword fightings, uh, fighting characters, and things like that? Uh, to be honest, I, I usually prefer, uh, prefer far, uh, far more to li- like instead of mounted archery, I prefer to do it on foot. And so, yeah. I think that if how they uh, how they will, will deal with, I mean, like the the the, the stuff in the current one, my, most mount blades that uh, that your archers are quite well vulnerable yeah. to attacks, which is of course like uh, historically quite accurate, and they can yeah, do that yeah. a lot. But overall, how they manage to like deal with that, but that you can basically like your main character is like this quite uh, sturdy. Like usually, you you put it together with uh, crossbowmen who are a little bit more sturdy and like can hold their positions. Yeah, but yeah. I usually prefer the uh, the archer, like cl- like classic English longbowmen, for example. Yeah, yeah, Th- those are actually my favorite too. Uh... Okay, so we're going to go back in time a bit. So, how long have you been playing Mountain Blade? Um, yeah. That rough Mountain Blade, I've roughly played for 800 hours now. I mean, oh. I think I started quite a while ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty old game overall, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, I, but I started with Warband. Like there was the mo- there was a Mountain Blade before, but I started with Warband. Yeah, yeah. Also played a little bit of Fire and Sword. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, but I think I've ne- I've never played Napo- Napoleonic uh, Wars. Yeah. Or whatever the yeah, DLC is, I've yeah, never yeah. touched that. But like oh, I said, okay. my, my Warband is, is, is the main uh, part, uh, main game that I play, and like I said, roughly 800 hours. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, which also comes in at my next question. Uh, what f- faction in Mountain Blade Warband uh, do you like the most? Because in my opinion, I think that the faction types is going to be pretty much uh, the same in Bannerlord, but, but just like in a uh, updated version of them. So yeah, what faction do you like the most? Uh, usually faction-wise, I really like going for Vargir. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Because they have quite, uh, I think, they have quite a uh, balanced uh, 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 tree that you can basically go for quite a different kind of style. Yeah, yeah. Like, they have a, a little bit of everything, not as good as, uh, uh, as mo- like, for example, like a Suedian Knight, but still, yeah, overall, yeah. I think, quite a balanced yeah. units. Yeah. I think that, um, the most oh, the most popular ones is like the Nords maybe. Um, okay, yeah, Nords are better. So, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was a pretty odd in my opinion. But sure. Uh, a quick question: Do you prefer bo- sword or a bow? I, if given the choice between the two, I would pro- definitely go for a bow. Okay. Um, sword or a spear? Uh, definitely sword. A, a, a spear is a little bit, I think, a little bit wonky in okay. uh, Mountain Blade. Uh, a sword or a, a, an axe? 
I st still saw it. I'm still okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that was everyone actually. Uh, so how long? No, that's the wrong question. Uh, if you could say one word to tell to Televerse Entertainment, like for those that do, don't, don't know what tele, tele, Televerse Entertainment is, that is the developers of Mountain Blade games. Uh, what would you like to say to them? Just one thing. Ooh. I could go for the classic stuff and say release Banner Lord, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's that's, everyone, <laughs> that's doing everyone. I think I should probably like go for more like yeah, they should take their time with Banner Lord because if yeah. it if it comes out and it's uh, not as as finished as they want it to be, it's probably yeah. gone quite disappointing. Yeah, for sure. So. So, def so definitely, I mean, uh, like a CD Project Red approach, where they basically say the game is finished when it's finished. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good one. Uh, I guess. Uh, and the next question. Uh, if you have been into like the, this whole uh, competitive side of, m of um, Mountain Blade, uh, do you think that Banner Lord is going to have as much like um, a competitive a, a competitive side of the game as Warband has uh, or have uh, actually? I f well, I think if they uh, if they put as much time like uh, into Banner Lord as they I mean like they they they, they they see the community and they see what they're doing and uh, yeah. And I definitely also want. They definitely also want to integrate that. So, because that's one of one of the main things what makes Mount Blade so so good is because the community like just basically yeah, yeah, yeah. picked up the game. And I definitely, I definitely think that there's going to be uh, uh, quite an uh, interesting competitive scene. Yeah. yeah. Banner Lord. So, do you think that the community is going to be as good around Banner Lord as it was with Warband? Well, that is. I still well, maybe not as uh, i mean th there are definitely a lot of people from warband who are also going to look at banner lord and give yeah, it a yeah, try. Yeah. but i think at, after all trying to get to that same point maybe if they yeah. balance more a little bit on that like uh how they pu publish banner lord yeah everyone on board and everything and good marketing yeah maybe but it's quite difficult to build up something like warband the warband community yeah it is pretty huge uh, I don't know the exact numbers on like the Steam um, workshop uh, post, but that's a lot. Uh, and to the last question, and probably the most asked question around the web. When do you think Banner and the Lord is going to be out for us? Ooh. That's a I pretty huge question, actually. They're gonna... Maybe they're gonna throw that us at like uh, like out of nowhere, like I guess mi uh, middle 2019. Just like m maybe oh, yeah. announcing it then. Yeah. But but it's it's definitely I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be may probably later this year. Yeah. This okay. So this was actually a pretty different opinion from the last e episode, which all of you guys that are watching can go and check out in the video description. It is all linked down below. Um, be because, um, yeah, that e episode is a very good one in my opinion. So, but uh, back to this one again. Uh, I think so. You think that in this year it's actually going to be out for us, or at least like a, a countdown or something Maybe like something that. Maybe something like that. They're gonna announce when they're gonna release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the re release date should be like late. 2019, you think? Well, hopefully, but yeah, may, may, maybe going more. I guess uh, in between that, I or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for being a part of this episode. Uh, this was actually all of the questions, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>